rights of women and children in this country. Um, in doing so, we um, have a lot of activities um, which we do. Um, included um, in those activities are giving free legal advice, for example, and legal representation in court to women and children whose um, rights have been violated. Um, we, are, we also um, have a, um, a newsletter which we publish um, and in, in it we publish issues of um, women's rights, children's rights and uh, actually our current issue is on gender-based violence, um, just um, on, the said, on the said commemoration of gender-based violence. So we, we issued um, a publication just based, based on that. Um, also, we promote law reform in the area of women and children's rights. We provide a lot of training as well um, on this topic to various strict stakeholders in society, like religious leaders, traditional leaders, um, you know, women and children, and, and the public um, at large. Um, and um, these are the main activities we, 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 we do. Um, as part of the network, um, and on this particular um, activity of the 16 days activism, um, we will be celebrating all the activities that Fallo has rightly said um, going on tomorrow. Um, but our particular participation um, will be in our area of expertise, which obviously is providing um, legal advice and representation to, to women um, in the specific area of gender-based violence and other um, women's rights and children's rights um, issues. We will therefore be providing a stall um, tomorrow at the um, Bakote Children's um, Shelter and we will be giving free legal advice there. So we def definitely call on all members of the public who have any issues um, relating to either gender-based violence, even if they are not directly related, if they are related to women's rights issues or children's rights issues, we welcome them to come. Um, this is free. Um, we all know that it's very costly to see a lawyer and therefore I think that members of the general public should take um, this really great opportunity to come and get free legal advice. So if any women um, are in need of this advice, um, let them come tomorrow at the Bakwate Children's um, Center. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sagar. Uh, Matilda, uh, tomorrow you said is a 16 day of activism uh, proper. So what are the activities you have lined up for tomorrow? For tomorrow, we are starting with a march pass from Tipa Garage up to the shelter for children in Bakote. Now, it is, that is going to be the warm-up exercise because we sent out invitation letters to our members and asked them at least to send a representation to join the march pass. We'll be giving them t-shirts, we'll be handing out flyers and stickers, and we also have banners. And we have the police band to accompany us. So that is the warm-up. At least by 8.30, you should be at Tipa Garage. And we march to Bakote, um, where the ceremony proper will start around 10 a.m. We'll have prayers, the noble prayers, and then the welcome remarks by the Director of Social Welfare, Madam Fanta Baiseka. Then we have remarks by the National Coordinator of the Network Against Gender-Based uh, Violence, Madam Hadim Bujbaro. Then we have a short sketch because we have some youngsters who will be doing a five, ten minute sketch on issues of uh, violence. Then we have another remark by the Honorable Minister for Health and Social Welfare and National Assembly Matters. Another remark by the Honorable uh, Minister of Justice. A five, ten minute break where we also have sketch by these um, young people. Then the keynote address by Her Excellency the Vice President and Minister of Women's Affairs, Aja Isetunjai Sedi. And then after that, we have a tour of the Bakote um, shelter premises. Because I know a lot of people maybe have heard about it, but they've never been there. So tomorrow is your chance. You will have a conducted tour of the facilities. And you will also see the various counseling rooms and also talk to the members of staff who were there. Then we have refreshments. And of course, as um, Madam um, Sagar said, there will be free legal counseling. Free counseling also for um, um, psychosocial um, uh, counseling. And also if you have any medical co consultation that you, you, know, you want to, to ask about. Because we'll have information desks manned by some of our partners. We've asked them to bring some of their uh, leaflets, some of the, you know, the things that they do during their work. And you can go to them and talk to them. 
I'm sure people will be wondering, you know, you are talking about free legal um, counsel. How are they going to do it and where are they going to do it? For that, we have two rooms set aside where you can have I mean, one to one counseling. Because we know that is a small community, you may not want other people to see you going to talk to the legal person or even going to see the medical uh, people. So we have rooms set aside where you can have all the confidentiality that you want and you can talk to them. Another issue, we are also talking to the men to come out. Because um, in various seminars that we have conducted, we've had people say, oh, well, there are men who are also violated, you know, their rights have been violated. But the men do not come out and talk about it. So please, we are appealing to the men and the boys. If any of you have had issues of abuse, this is the time for you. Don't be shy. Come there and talk to us. Because gender is not only about women. It's about men and women. Thank you very much, Matilda. Uh, Falu, what is the purpose of this one-stop uh, shop shelter? Thank you very much, um, Edna. I think that's a very, very important question, and people need to know. Um, before the setting up of the one-stop center, um, when people are violated, especially women, they normally go to the health facilities. From there, most of the time, they are referred to go to the police because they need a police escort to take them before they can get any treatment. And sometimes they are referred to social welfare. So they have been, it has been very hard for them. And also the issue of their confidentiality becomes also a problem for them because going from place to place. And also it puts them at a very risky situation. Imagine somebody who has been raped, whose life is at risk. You went to the hospital wanting medical attention and you are referred to the police. Maybe the police is too far away. Before you go there and coming back, you might um, um, have problems. You might lose a lot of blood and, and the like. So because of this, the network thought it wise to um, establish a one-stop center. As the name implies, when you go there, you have all the things, services that you would need at one place. You need medical services, doctors or nurses would be there to provide it for you. You need legal services, we will have lawyers from FLAG, from NALA, they will be there to provide it for you. You need psychosocial counseling. The social workers would be there to provide psychosocial counseling for you. So you need a police officer to investigate the matter and ensure that legal actions are taken against the perpetrator. The police would be there to take your statements to ensure that the matter is investigated. So you see, everything is there in one place. So you don't need to move from one place to another where you would compromise your um, privacy, where you would also pay a lot of money to travel from one place to another and other issues involved in it. So everything is at one place. So this is why we established the one-stop center. And one of the reasons why we are coming up with this open day um, tomorrow is to ensure that the public knows about this one-stop center. Because the center would be useless if the public doesn't know about it and are not going there to access the services. So it is there and we want the whole, everybody in this country to know the services are there and they can go there to access it. So that's why we are taking this 16 days activism as an opportunity to sensitize the public and having the open day there where the one-stop center is. So that everybody would go there, um, the press would also popularize the place and then people would go there and they would know the place and they would see the service by themselves. Seeing is believing. So they would see everything being done there. So that's why tomorrow we would have free legal services as, as Sagar uh, mentioned earlier on. You will have also doctors to provide free medical you know, consultation and treatment if necessary. We will have the social workers there to also provide free psychosocial counseling. And all these things would happen tomorrow. But it, tomorrow is not the only day. We are doing it tomorrow to popularize it. Like I said, the, the, the one-stop center is there and it's going to continue. So if you feel that maybe tomorrow you know, it's not a good day for you to go, please come again another day. 
will we need 